If you think seeing is believing, <laughs> you can think again. I feel like I just want you to step into my hand and then I'm, yes, hey! <laughs> <laughs> That's a low five. It is, exactly. Very low for me, not as low for you, but I'll tell you what, it's all about perspective, right? And there's a museum that is as mind-bending as it is educational. It's drawing crowds and it's turning science into an illusion. In today's Growing STEM, we had to see for ourselves. I got to check out the Museum of Illusions here in Cleveland. For a year now, the Museum of Illusions near Public Square in downtown Cleveland has left visitors wondering, can I believe what I see? Inside, reality bends, walls move, and gravity seemingly defied. The Ames Room is a crowd favorite, playing tricks with perspective and space. It's just really cool, uh, especially uh, when you bring children here. Um, kids like it because they obviously look taller than their parents. So should we switch places then? Sure. Let's switch places. Change the perspective. <laughs> and now I'm the giant and you're the tiny one. Lots more to see and check out for sure. But now you can see we're actually the same size. And how about trying to keep your balance in the vortex tunnel? Oh, my brain is not liking yeah. this. <laughs> and some illusions are made just for Cleveland. This is our building illusion. This is one of two of installations that are specifically Cleveland branded here okay. at the museum. And the way that this illusion works, we actually have two mirrors here. And if done properly, it makes us look at, that we're climbing or hanging off the side of a Cleveland building. With over 9,200 square feet of immersive exhibits, this museum is a playground for the senses, and it's all rooted in STEM. In fact, the museum was named in the top 5% in STEM by STEM.org, and teachers get in free every day. We actually encourage teachers to visit the museum and take a look at how they can use the exhibits towards field trips and lesson planning. So if you're looking to test the limits of what's real or seemingly real, the Museum of Illusions is ready to show you the science behind the surprise. Okay, maybe just one more. Which one's the real me? This is either fun or terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, fun or frightening, right? <laughs> exactly. We had so much fun in there. And the yeah. cool thing is there was a whole group of school kids from Cleveland that came in right as we were leaving. And what were they saying? They were the ones in the video. They were just like, let's go. And it was just so fun. And it's one of those things where you don't realize you're learning when you're learning. And for those parents out there who are like, how am I going to explain this to my kids? They actually have it all written up. And you can just read a placard next to it, and it explains everything. everything. It's yeah. so great. And walking through that tunnel, oh, that's a little freaky. I've, I've done that The whole too. time I kept like, wait, turning. I need to move this yeah. way. My, but as I, I said, my brain did not like it. And it definitely, by the end, it was a little weird. But oh. anyway, the Museum of Illusions is the largest and it's the fastest growing chain of private museums in the world. Almost 50 locations are now open in 25 countries mm. with more than 10 million visitors worldwide to date. So cool. Definitely something you should have on your summertime bucket yeah. list. Yeah, definitely. All